shadows of the morning are crawling on my floor. When I just want to lie here, nothing less, nothing more. There's raindrops on my window, and I'm going nowhere fast. Behind these closed eyes, I visualize what will come and what is past. But Mama, turn the light on. Good morning, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you guys through one of my capstone clinical shifts, which I'm super excited about because y'all know I love mother baby, and my capstone is on the mother baby unit on the night shift, so I thought I would take you guys along today. Um, it is currently 8 in the morning. I woke up at 7.30. Actually, I woke up at 6.30 because shampoo was being bad, and I couldn't go back to sleep but I got up at 7.30 and I'm gonna go for a little run for my stupid little mental health and then I'm going to come back. I have a meeting today. I need to get my stuff together for clinical, take a nap, and then actually go to clinical. So that's the plan, but I am gonna be running on the beach today because I love the beach. So I'm wearing this black sports bra from Amazon and these maroon leggings from Paragon and some tie-dye socks from Fabletics and my Nike Air Maxes. My tops are large, my leggings are smalls, and yeah, I don't know if you want my shoe size. It's an eight in case you were wondering. I've been getting pretty sentimental about leaving Galveston, so I definitely wanted to run on the beach today. So that was my, I guess, environment of choice. I have my pink hydro flask because I'm a visco queen and I have my inhaler because ever since I had COVID, I've had a couple like random asthma attacks. Thankfully, I haven't had one in like three weeks or four weeks, I want to say. So that's really good, but I'm scared because it's like a little bit cold and that usually triggers me. So I usually just have it if I know I'm going to be like doing something like this. So yeah. Um, so that's what I have with me and I'm just taking my airpods and leaving everything else here because my camera is too heavy to run with So I'll talk to you guys whenever I get back Mama stir me from my sleep I've been sleeping too long I've been dreaming too long and I just want to lie here But I don't want to die here So I'm going to take my best shot Shot out of bed into the tip top Sitting on the edge of my bed Okay, vlog update. Back in my car now. Um, it is 9.10. Um, I just finished, obviously, because I look horrible. Um, but I just kind of did what felt right. So I just ran, like ran, walked, did some stationary stuff, and like didn't really have an agenda. I just kind of moved, which was kind of nice. Um, I saw lots of girls running today and I was like, go Queens, because last time I ran here, there was nobody and it was scary, so it made me feel safe knowing there are lots of other people running today. I'm done, it is 9.10 and my meeting's at 10. I do wanna do a few other things before I like shower and stuff, because I like didn't get to stretch, which I normally would stretch before running, because I actually get really mad at my mom when she doesn't stretch before she runs. Um, so I really need to stretch, my shins were killing me, so. Probably gonna do some like yoga at my apartment. That way I'm like at least close to my computer. Um, and then if I have time to shower, I'll shower. If not, I'll do the meeting gross and then I'll shower. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm okay with either one though, cause like it's just the OB tutors. There's only like a couple of us and one of the professors and everyone's really chill and I love them. So it's fine if I look crappy. But anyways, that's the plan for the day. And then after that meeting, I just have a couple things I wanna do before I take my night shift nap. Yeah, um, lately I've just been in like a pretty good mood because um, I feel like I have a lot of my stuff kind of in order, but that makes me feel super good. So right now I'm kind of just like in the stage of nursing school where I'm trying to like learn as much as I can and like take care of myself. And I know that's like how it's supposed to be the whole time, but honestly like 
it's just with all the pressure and stuff it can get kind of like ugly and like negative but right now it's just like positive learning like no one's gonna kill me if I don't learn and all of the learning is motivated by myself so it's like a healthy motivation instead of like a pressure you're a failure you suck kind of pressure but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and head back and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit and so I say goodbye to the shadows as morning breaks to noon Another day I'm living another song I'm singing and I know I've got nothing to lose Alright vlog update but I'm about to get onto this meeting It starts in three minutes so I'm signing in to my email so I can get the link for it But that's what I'm doing right now um, I didn't do yoga I just stretched and did weightless stuff because I have scoliosis and don't know how to do anything right. I ran out of time to shower and I like didn't really have time to do much of anything so that's kind of what happened there. But getting on to this right now and I'll talk to y'all in a minute. My soul keeps shining, they say that I misguided but I want to make this move. I guess that you can say that I woke up with this melody in my head shot. Okay, I just met with my professor and it was so nice. She, I actually was the only one who showed up to the meeting, so it was just me and her. Um, and she gave me like career advice and I like told her about like all of my future plans and about my job and just things like that. And she was just so nice and so supportive and gave me like really good advice and like hyped me up and like asked me how I came to my decisions and all of that. And yeah, she just made me feel super good, so made me happy. Um, and then she was just like giving me good advice for like down the road if I have future plans. And yeah, anyways, I thought it was really great. I hope you didn't hear my stomach growling right now because I'm super hungry. It is now almost 11 because I just wanted to update the rest of the tutors with all the information I gathered. And I need to eat something um, and then take a shower. So I think I'm going to have some eggs this morning. So I'm gonna get some right now and then take my shower because I am absolutely disgusting. So when I say, Mama, turn the light on, understand just what I mean. When I'm asleep, I will dream. And when I wake, you will see. That even as I lie here Thinking where I'll be in five years I know today is all I ever got I know today will be my best shot Sitting on the edge of my bed Waiting by the river Waiting by the river I found a little piece of homestead Okay, I'm all showered. I put some argan oil in my hair. I painted my toenails and I packed my lunch. So I'm feeling very good today. Um, here's my lunchbox and I know I always do a what's in my lunchbox and what's in my bag. So of course I'm going to do it again for capstone. However, it is a little different for capstone. So my lunch is not that different though. So I usually will eat lunch around two in the morning when I'm on night shift. Um, I don't even leave for lunch. I kind of just eat it really quickly because why not? But I have my Powerade, which I just drink throughout my shift. I always pack a Coke and I never drink it, but I always pack it because if I do get to that point where I'm like super tired, I will drink it. However, I hate the way that like Coke makes me feel. I hate how like jittery I get. So I have it on me always and I've never actually drink it. So maybe I need to stop packing it because it's been like night shifts since September and I've been not drinking my Cokes, but I always put them in there. Sometimes I give them to someone, so. And then I do put these little blueberry pastry things. They're like the 100 calorie special K bar things. Um, I usually don't eat this either, but it's kind of like a quick little snack if I do get super hungry. Um, I pack a Zone Fudge Graham Perfect Bar. I do normally eat this. I usually eat this one like at the very end of the night, like four in the morning to give me that last little boost to make it to like seven in the morning. So that's always in my bag. I have my typical Caesar salad. I just get these at Walmart. I eat this usually around one or two in the morning. 
and then I always put something like more exciting so I have my Cheetos in there which sometimes I end up eating chips sometimes I don't it really just depends on the night so I like to have all of my snacks with me and see what I end up eating but like 99% of the time I only eat the salad and this and I kind of just hang on to everything else and then the last thing I keep in my lunch is two of these little awake chocolate bites. This video is not in partnership with them. However, I have done a video in partnership with them. So I do have a code for 20% off. It's Erica G20. But basically, two of these together have the caffeine concentration of one cup of coffee. So each of these is 50 milligrams of caffeine. So together it's 100 and they're super good. I love chocolate. These are the caramel ones and they're super good. So highly recommend this is what i prefer to have for caffeine instead of this first off because this is healthier and second off because this makes me feel jittery and awful this is just like a quick little caffeine jump you know what i mean i want to say each of these is like 90 calories um i personally try to avoid calorie counting so i cannot confirm that it's on the box but i'm honestly not gonna look but they're a lot healthier. Highly recommend. I love my awake chocolates. I'll put the link down below if you guys want to have the same ones as me because they are my night shift heroes. So that is it for my lunch. I know it's like a lot of food, but honestly, I prefer to have options throughout the night in case I'm craving something different. And there's also, it also keeps me from getting anything from like vending machines and stuff like that. And the cafeteria is closed throughout the night. So my only access to food is what I've packed for 13 hours. So that's why I do that. <laughs> so I keep everything in this purple Fulton bag. I got it from Target. It is honestly perfect because it fits all of those things in here super easily. Okay, and now for my actual clinical bag. This is different from how I've done my clinicals in the past, but since this is my capstone and this is like where I'm gonna be working, I am like really doing my best to get all the information I can possibly get during clinical so I can be like the best nurse that I can be. Um, so I do have a little system in my little desk drawer. I have this green folder in here. Um, I have some personal stuff in here, so I don't want to show everything but I keep a copy of everything that I take with me to my clinicals. So I do have some resumes in here, which I don't take to my clinicals. That's why I'm kind of hiding this. So I printed out 11 of everything that I'll need to get through all 11 of my capstone shifts. So this is like the little tool that we give to the nurse so that they can like grade us for like how we performed throughout the night and leave like any comments and stuff like that. So I have 11 of these in a paper clip. Now there's like nine. And then I have all of my report sheets. So I actually got this off of Etsy and I love it. It has four little quadrants and it's like mother, baby, mother, baby, mother, baby, mother, baby. And it's just been like super easy for report and it's all in one page. So I don't have to like flip through a bunch, which is really nice. So this is what I've been using for report for mother, baby. If you want me to link this, let me know and I can link it for you. So I just take one copy of each sheet that I need out of this folder and I put it into my clipboard. So I still use the same pink clipboard that I've used this whole program, but it has one copy of everything that I need. So I have that sheet, then I have my communication tool, and then I have my like allotted skills thing. So anything that I like do, like if I do um, an IV insertion, if I give like a certain medication, if I, a lot of these things are like very med search, so I'm not gonna be able to do all of them technically, but just anything that I do that's on this list, the nurse signs it, so I have that. And then on the very back, I have my schedule and it's just my whole time sheet. So all the hours from all of my shifts for the nurse to sign to show that I showed up for my shift and that I did my allotted time so that at the end I can turn in all of the hours for my entire capstone. So that is all in this pink clipboard, which I do take with me. And I take it all in this pink Bag Smart backpack. This was actually the backpack I used for class, but now that I'm in capstone, I actually just take my whole entire backpack to clinical, which is a lot different because I usually use my small Kavu, but since I've been like totally on my own, I don't have like an instructor or anything with me. I like to have everything in my backpack. So 
there's that i have this pink little case it has like all my pens and highlighters nothing exciting i have this little journal that actually adele gave to me during big little reveal week if you go back that far um since adele is my big in case you didn't know but yeah she had made this for me and it has little graph paper or grid paper i think is what it's called like the little dots or whatever that make the squares i don't know grid paper um like a bullet journal kind of thing and i basically in here will write down every single medication that i give every single skill oh, shampoo can you move can you sit up oh. no sir no sir no so in this little bullet journal, I write down every single skill I do, every single medication I give, any single thing the nurse does that I notice she does, anything I write in here so that I can take this home with me and like know everything that I've done on the shift. Because with everything that I write in here, I have a little binder and um, right now I'm currently like making a running document of all of the things I did and explaining the rationale, explaining the steps to do it um, for all the medications. I'm writing like all of the drug information about that medication. Basically anything I ever need to know at clinical or do, I explain that on this running document. Then I'm going to print all of that out and put it in this little binder to keep with me as a new grad. So that's kind of like how I'm trying to manage manage learning everything for graduation so that's what i do with this um and i just keep this i don't take the whole binder with me since like i'm not printing all of that out yet i'm just like typing it up so i do that after my shift with everything i write down in here this little notebook has everything that i ever wrote down when i actually took ob so i keep all of this with me and i keep this in my bag in case i need to consult any of my old notes or if i'm doing like one of those bullet journal things and i need to like understand it quickly i can pull it out in my notes i do take my pink ipad with me i don't really use it too much but whenever i need to pull up any like google forms or anything for like my class like when i submit my form at the end of my shifts and stuff i use this to upload it so that's what i keep my ipad for i take my pink stethoscope case which i got on amazon all of this is always linked in the description so definitely check out my whole nursing school shopping list for these things but i have my little AM scrub cap in here i have some bandage scissors i have two pen lights and two normal pens and then I have a waterproof watch in my pink Litman stethoscope. And I keep all of that in here and just throw this into my bag. And then the last thing that I take with me is my actual laptop itself. Um, I don't really need it too, too often. However, there was one day that like the computers weren't working. So I actually had my laptop with me and was able to pull up all the stuff that I needed for that day. So honestly, it's just kind of helpful to have it. And I always have it in my backpack. So I just kind of keep it with me anyways. And then I keep that in my pink laptop case and then just put that in my pink backpack so that's the whole back pocket of my bag and then i have this little front pocket up here i have this little thing i keep like pads tampons ibuprofen scrunchies all that kind of stuff in here in case i need it i have a highlighter that's not where it's supposed to be and then on the side here i have just two water bottles so that is everything which is a lot i know i take a lot to clinical but honestly it's kind of nice to have all the stuff that I could ever need available to me. I wouldn't do that on anything but capstone because like there's so many students on like the normal classes that there would be like a million backpacks laying around. But since it's just me, it's really not a big deal. So that's why I don't really mind filling up my bag, but I guess it's just personal preference. I like to have everything that I could possibly need all with me, especially just because I don't have access to an instructor. So that's just how I do it, but I hope you liked my bag. All right, well, it is now about to be two o'clock, so I'm gonna take one melatonin, which is literally a milligram and a half, and take that so I can take a little nappy nap before clinical. Um, I'm already kind of tired just because Bestie down here decided to keep me up all night. So now he's asleep. 
and I need to go to sleep too. Okay, took my melatonin and now I'm getting my outfit for clinical laid out just so that I can quickly put it on and go. Um, here's my orange scrub top. Very excited that I only have 10 more shifts wearing that outfit. Here are my orange scrub bottoms. And then I'm gonna pick out some compression socks to wear. Today we're gonna wear these pink cloves ones. They're super cute. They have like a little heart on the back. Super cute. I'm gonna wear that. And then I'm gonna get a black tank top to wear underneath so that my boobs don't show. Just kidding. I'm actually wearing that tank top under the sweater and I totally forgot. <laughs> so I just need a bra because I'm not wearing a bra right now. So here it is. Okay, so here's my stack of things to put on when I wake up. And then I did go ahead and plug in my laptop just so that it would be nice and charged. I have my lunchbox, which I put next to my scrubs. And my bag is packed up besides that. So I'm pretty much ready to go. I just need to go ahead and go to sleep and get some rest. Probably going to wake up around 5. I normally wake up earlier though because my body just doesn't like to take naps. If I wake up earlier, that's fine, but I always set an alarm for five in case my body does want to sleep. So, we'll see what I decide to do today. Good morning slash good evening. It is now is now 4 55 i actually woke up at 4 30 which i'm not surprised about i usually don't last the whole time i think i slept like truly was asleep for two hours which is like pretty normal for me so not mad about it um but yeah i went ahead and got dressed i have my scrubs on my pink socks and then i have this little headband from etsy it has like little pink baby footprints on it i love it um, so I'm currently dressed. I decided for dinner today, I'm going to redeem a Jimmy John's meal. So I just ordered that for pickup because why not redeem it for today? Um, it's also like really close to the hospital, so it's perfect. Um, but I just need to like get my bed made, get the rest of my stuff together and head out. I do try to get there early on these days because on my Thursday night, Friday night and Saturday nights, there are also OB students on the unit, so it's like me and them. So there's gonna be a lot of students. So I kind of want to be like ready, like situated before all of the other students get there. Or else I just end up getting lumped in with them and I would like to have somebody who's ready to take a capstone student. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make my bed and get ready to go. I realize that I'm waking up. Now my mind is flooded and I'm over But even after all is said and done, Bye, Shamu. Be a good boy. Be a good boy. Be a good boy. Be a good boy tonight. I'll see you in the morning. I'll see you in the morning, okay, bestie? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, so I'm in my car right now, and normally right before my shift, I film a TikTok, um, but I filmed a TikTok this morning, so don't have to make a TikTok right now. So that's why I'm just like in my car, which is perfect because someone is working outside and I don't want to film in front of him, so I'm camera shy right now. <laughs> but my OOTD I forgot to do, so my headband is from Etsy with the pink little footprints on it. My glasses are from Target. Um, I have a purple Nike sports bra and a black little crop top, black tank top thing. Um, these are also from Amazon. And then I have my UTMB scrubs from UTMB. I have my pink heart badge reel from Amazon. I have my Janu, Janu jacket, it's J-A-A-N-U-U. -U. Um, I love this jacket, I wear this for every clinical. I have my Aggie ring from Texas A&M. I have my pink mask from Kish, although I wear the hospital masks, of course, when I'm in the hospital. And then I have my pink socks from Cloves. They have like a little heart on the back. And my pink shoes from Cloves. So that's my clinical outfit, I guess. Um, I'm headed over to go pick up my dinner. It's only 5.12 right now, um, so I'm like leaving super early. 
but I do usually call someone, either Kyle or my mom usually, whenever I'm eating my dinner before I go in, just to have like a little socialization before I start the shift. So it's kind of like my, I don't know, my emotional warm up kind of thing for going into clinical. So that's usually what I do. So we're gonna go to Jimmy John's, get my dinner, and I'll talk to you guys in a second. All right, so I'm at the hospital now, or I'm parked at least. Um, I see a ton of students in front of me, so looks like people are starting to leave their day shifts. It's only 5.30 though, so they're early. I'm still okay. Um, I got the number four, which is the turkey tom. I just take off tomatoes and add provolone. So I have that, and then I have my Coke, so. We're gonna have a very good dinner. Very excited right now. Sandwiches always just taste so much better when someone else makes them for you. You know what I mean? All right, so here's my sandwich. Um, I'm going to call Kyle. I think he's in a group project meeting, so I might not be able to talk to him. Um, but I'll probably just like chill out and like watch some TikToks and then go up a little bit early. So that's the plan. All right, so I just talked to Kyle while I ate my dinner. And now I'm gonna go ahead and head inside. Um, I'm gonna leave my camera in my backpack this time just because I have it, but I'm gonna put it away. So yeah, also I see like other students. I don't really wanna be vlogging and walking because I'm embarrassed, but I am gonna go do my shift now. I'll talk to y'all after my shift and let y'all know how it goes, but I'm excited. Hopefully it's a good night and I'll talk to y'all later. Good morning, I just got off my shift. It is currently 7.10 in the morning. Um, it was a good shift, honestly. I had a good night. Um, I had lots of like education moments, which are my favorite. And I got to do some new stuff with some babies. Um, I felt like a baby whisperer today because I felt like my baby skills were just like really good today. Because um, I never really saw myself working with kids or babies like at all so um whenever I do stuff that's like good with babies I'm like proud of myself because like I've always loved women's health that's always been like a strong suit of mine but PD is like not my thing or like it's not not my thing like I'm good at it but I like didn't foresee myself doing it I guess if that makes sense so I was proud of my baby skills today um but yeah I'm not actually tired um, but I'm super hungry, so I'm gonna go home, go upstairs, and then probably eat something because I'm actually gonna have to bounce back to days because I don't have another shift for a week because next week we have a lot of class stuff and we have our comprehensive ATI. So I actually don't have a shift for a while, so I need to be like a daytime schedule kind of girl. So what I plan on doing is eating and then sleeping as long as my body needs and then taking a melatonin tomorrow night at like an early hour so that I force myself to go back to sleep and get on a schedule. But I am gonna sleep as long as my body needs for tomorrow just because like I don't really have anything that I need to do and I may as well just get sleep. So that's the plan, um, but overall it was a good night. Um, I love, I just love doing mother baby. Um, I never really thought I would end up in mother baby or like doing that as like my job. Um, I think I like always loved women's health but couldn't label where I would end up. So honestly, every single night that I spent on the mother baby unit, I'm like, okay, this is okay. Like this is where I'm meant to be. Like everything's gonna be okay. Oh, I also forgot to say that I did eat my lunch and I know y'all are probably all wondering what I ended up eating since I packed so much food. Um, I ended up eating the salad, drinking water, drinking Powerade and eating the awake chocolates. So I didn't have anything else. So that's usually what ends up happening. I always just bring food because I'm so scared of being hungry, but I never actually eat it. So that's what I ate. Um, I ate at 1.30ish, so it kept me awake. Obviously I'm not tired right now and it's 7.10, so obviously the caffeine worked and that's how I do my night shifts. So I hope that that helps you guys if you're starting on night shifts or learning how to do the night shift thing. That's what works for my body. I feel like everyone's different, but I just, I've always liked it this way. But I am gonna go home and then I'm gonna head upstairs. I'm not gonna vlog while I'm upstairs because my roommates are still sleeping, but I'm literally just gonna eat, 
take a shower and then go to bed so i'm going to just wrap up today but i am going to vlog tomorrow so you guys can like kind of bounce back with me um i did get all of my paperwork signed by my nurse and i submitted it while i was at clinical so i don't have to worry about my paperwork however i do keep all my paperwork just in case like something like doesn't submit or i like need it for something in the future so i empty out my pink clipboard and i just add it to that green folder with the paper clips to show all of my documentation so that if anything happens or if like for some reason my instructor doesn't see it i can have like proof that all of it exists and that i attended all my shifts and i stayed the whole time and all of that so that's what i do but i will talk to you guys tomorrow or i guess later today whenever i wake up which i'm gonna just let my body do whatever my body needs to do so good night i guess or good morning slash i'm going to sleep <laughs> I'm chasing these dreams awake. I'm chasing these dreams awake or asleep. Okay, hello. It is now, I guess, still the next day, but you know. Um, okay, so I haven't vlogged and it's 5 39. Um, I'm super sorry. It's 5:39, and I haven't vlogged, but basically I had a really chaotic situation So I could not sleep last night until like around 9 a.m. Like actually fall asleep like I tried But I just my brain was like too I don't know stimulated I guess and so I couldn't sleep Finally fell asleep and then woke up at 12 because I had to pee really bad <laughs> and so I got up and then I couldn't fall back asleep so I only slept for three hours which it is what it is, but I've only slept five hours since yesterday at like seven, so I'm pretty tired today. But um, then I got up, I ate an egg for breakfast, and then I noticed Shamu was acting really weird. And so I was like, what is he doing? He was in my closet being super weird. Turns out he had, I guess, some litter confusion. He's never done this before. I got him almost a year ago. Like in a couple weeks, it'll be a year. He pooped in my duffel bag and peed on the bag. And I did use that bag to pack his stuff whenever I moved him, like from like when I take him to College Station or San Antonio or whatever. I do sometimes put his litter bag in there. So I think he could smell his litter and then decided to use the bag. So that was disgusting um, because it was super hard to clean and it just made like a big mess but finally cleaned it up it took me like a long time and then i cleaned his litter box which wasn't even bad he was just being dramatic and yeah so had to do all of that and then i also started getting all like extra perfectionist about it so then i started like cleaning my whole room and that's why I haven't updated because I just kind of went mental breakdown mode, but I'm good now Everything's fine Um, I was kind of in a bad mood. I'm not gonna lie like I was feeling really grouchy and part of it was because I didn't sleep very much So I realized I just need like a little bit of serotonin and I just need to take care of myself because right now I'm just getting overwhelmed with everything like Anything right now would probably set me off like I'm just like on the brink. I think if, I don't know if like anyone can relate to like how I feel when somebody's like what's wrong and you're like I don't know like my shirt fits me weird um, My socks are getting wrinkled in my shoes and I Just feel overwhelmed. That's like how I feel so um, I am at the beach right now. I did want to go running today just to like wake myself up and also take care of myself and so that's what i'm gonna do and then i'm gonna take the day like kind of chill because i feel like i just need it because i'm just getting like really hard on myself also i started getting like my really bad imposter syndrome coming back about like realizing that in a month i'll be graduating it just like is a little scary to like think about actually like being a nurse um so i'm like feeling a little overwhelmed which i'm sure a lot of new grads can relate to um, and also it doesn't help when people are like, are you even old enough to be my nurse? Have you even done this before? Blah, blah, blah. Like that makes it so much worse. I cannot even 
begin to go down that road because I feel pretty confident until there's people who are like, oh my God, I would not want you to do this. I would not like, I don't even, yeah. Anyways, um, so that's just, that's just how I'm feeling right now. Um, even though last night I was like super proud of myself and feeling really competent. I don't know why it just kind of like all hit me at once. But, um, today my OOTD is this treat people with kindness shirt from Amazon, but it's like the Harry Styles thing, you know? Um, I have my Camp Kesem fanny pack because I realized how annoying it is to deal with my inhaler and all of that while I'm running. So we're gonna do a fanny pack today because I'm not in the mood to like clip things to my bra and carry stuff. And then I just have these black biker shorts from Amazon. They're actually like the bottoms of the bra I wore yesterday. It's like a matching set, but I wore them not matching, so. That's my outfit for today. Um, personally, I prefer not to wear a shirt when I'm running because I prefer not to wear a shirt like 99% of the time, but I'm wearing one today. So that's a change. But my sports bra is this like zebra print thing from Victoria's Secret. It's like the kind that has like the zipper and stuff. So I really like it, but yeah. Anyways, um, I have my pink hydro flask and I'm gonna go ahead and go. I don't know like how long I plan on going, especially because it's sunset. So I don't want to like go to where it gets like dark, but I'm just going to do like whatever feels right. So that's the plan for right now. And I'll talk to you guys right after. Okay. So this is a disappointing vlog update, but I just got home. Um, I had to actually have Kyle on the phone for the last part of my run because it was dark. And yes, I knew the sun was gonna go down, but I went way too far running to the point where my body was like falling apart to the point where I was not gonna be able to run back. Like I was gonna have to walk part of that back. And I still kept going because I'm an idiot. So my whole body hurts. My ankles and my knees are killing me. Like I can barely walk right now. It hurts so bad. So um, gonna take a shower first off and then I think I'm gonna eat and watch a movie today and like not even look at school, like not even open Blackboard today. So yeah, tomorrow is gonna be very painful. Not pleased with myself for that stupid behavior, but it is what it is at this point. Hey guys, okay, so I just took a shower and then I soaked my knees and literally they feel 100% normal again. So 10 out of 10 recommend hot water. Anyways, I feel perfectly good now, except my ankles still hurt a lot, but at least my knees don't hurt because knees and ankles are not fun. But I'm wearing a 2XL shirt right now, no pants, living my best life. Gonna have something to eat because I've only eaten an egg today, and that's it, which is weird because I'm not very hungry, but I know I need to eat. Okay, so since I'm not like hungry and I don't want to force myself to eat because then I'm going to feel like not good, I settled for a bowl of sweet potato fries. I just put garlic salt on them and yeah, they're just sweet potatoes that were frozen and I put them in the air fryer. So, pretty good. Excited about that. And now I'm in my bed. I didn't turn off all the lights. Like I have my bathroom light on next to me um, because I don't want to fall asleep watching this movie. Um, but I'm basically just gonna watch a movie that way I stay up till like a normal hour It's almost 9. It's 8 45 right now, which I realize I could go to bed But I like usually stay up a little later than that So I'm trying to kind of force myself to stay up to like my normal hour That way my sleep schedule automatically catches back up tomorrow I do have Shamu next to me. He is excited to watch a movie. Look how cute he is just laying there. He is the sweetest little emotional support animal in the freaking world. Okay, so I've picked a movie. I'm gonna watch After, which I don't know if any of y'all were One Direction fans, but it was like based off of a fan fiction about Harry Styles. And honestly, I just kinda wanna watch it because I'm curious if this is gonna be a good movie or not. I feel like it's gonna be really stupid, but. I'm kind of feeling stupid. I'm not feeling like dramatic or anything. I just want to watch something that is like entertaining. So we're gonna watch after, but I'll let you guys know what I think about it. All right, well, that is about it. I just watched that movie and honestly, it was terrible. It was not good. Um, it kind of made me mad and it was stupid, but I freaking watched it anyways, but it was not good. Um, anyways, it is now 10.45 and I'm super tired, which is perfect. This is my bedtime 
and I didn't take any melatonin or anything so we love to be naturally tired but I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed and that's how I've bounced back now to my day shift I hope you guys liked this little clinical vlog if you want to see me do like a double kind of shift thing like doing multiple shifts in a row or something definitely film something like that but yeah i hope you guys liked it if you watch this whole video comment some purple heart emojis down below don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already and i'll see you guys next week let me know what you'd like to see from me because i'm on my last few weeks which is crazy so comment down below i'll see y'all next week bye of the morning are crawling on my floor when I just want to lie here nothing less